sorrow kwa uzuni, and terrible suffering na mateso makali no one wanted to look at him hakuna aliyetaka kumwangalia no one wanted to look at him hakuna aliyetaka kumwangalia we despise him tulimudharau and say na tukasema he is a nobody yeye sio kitu that's why he came as a lamb ndio maana alikuja kama mwana kondoo lambs don't attract attention mwana kondoo hawavutii hivyo hivyo tena mwaka mmoja this is not a sheep sio kondoo this is a lamb ni mwana kondoo this small one kale kadogo it can't even give you a baby hawezi hata kukuzalia mtoto mwingine he was a nobody alikuwa si mtu that is their attitude hiyo ndio ilikuwa ni ya yao they carried they looked at him na jinsi yalivyomwangalia but because he was on purpose lakini kwa sababu alikuwa kwa kusudi jesus yesu took their hatred alichukua chuki yao on him juu yake he took their rejection akachukua kukataliwa kwa on him juu yake that is why ndio maana he was sorrowful alikuwa na huzuni that is why ndio maana he terribly suffered aliteseka vikali haleluya haleluya he took their despisement alichukua ma- ma- madharau yao on him juu yake verse 4 stari 1 he suffered aliteseka and endured pain for us na kuvumilia uchungu kwa ajili yetu the lamb of god bwana kondoo wa mungu takes away anayeondoa the sin of the world dhambi ya ulimwengu he picked it from you alichukua kutoka kwako and because he put it on himself na kwa sababu alijiwekea juu yake kuchukua kutoka kwako sin does not exist in a vacuum dhambi haimo kwenye ukiwa It is transferred from one. Inabadilishwa kutoka kwa mmoja hadi kwa mwingine. Mwana kondoo took it from us. Alichukua kutoka kwetu to himself. Kwa hadi kwake mwenyewe. That's why he suffered. Ndio maana aliteseka. But though he was suffering. Atapokuwa alikuwa ateseka. What was ours? Kilichokuwa chetu. As a lamb. Kama mwana kondoo. Was taking away. Aliyekuwa anayeondoa. The sin of the world. Dhambi ya ulimwengu. Bible says. Biblia inasema. He endured. Alivumilia. Pain. Uchungu mkuu. He endured. Alivumilia. Great pain. Uchungu mkuu. Revealing Jesus to us. Kudhihirisha Yesu kwetu. To create the right spirit within us. Kutengeneza roho iliyo sawa ndani mwetu. But we thought. Lakini tulidhani. He is suffering. Anateseka. Was punishment from God. Mateso yake ilikuwa ni adhabu kutoka kwa Mungu. That is <laughs> God help us. <laughs> We thought tulifikiri that the suffering was because it was a punishment from God. Kuteseka kwake ni kwa sababu ilikuwa ni adabu kutoka kwa Mungu. It was our pain he took. Ulikuwa ni uchungu wake alichukua. It was our sorrows he took. Ilikuwa ni uzuni yetu alichukua. It was our sufferings he took. Ilikuwa mateso yetu alichukua. It was our rejection he took. Ilikuwa katalewa kwetu alichukua. Oh that, that was the sin he took. Hivyo vyote ilikuwa ndio dhambi alichukua. Juu yake. But he endured. Lakini alivumilia yote. Alivumilia yote. That Jesus endured. Mpendwa Yesu alivumilia. He endured you. Alikuvumilia wewe. Verse 5. Mstari wa 5. He was wounded. Alipata jeraha. And crushed. Na kabondwa. Because of our sins. Kwa sababu ya dhambi zetu. He was wounded. Alipata jeraha. He was beaten. Alipigwa. His body was broken. Mwili wake ulivunjwa. Because of our sins. Kwa sababu ya dhambi zetu. Look at that person next to you. Mtazame yule aliye karibu nawe. Tell him Jesus suffered because of you. Mwambie Yesu aliteseka kwa ajili yako. Say the wounds he got is because of you. Majeraha aliyoyapata ni kwa ajili yako. By taking our punishment, <laughs> kwa kuchukua adhabu yetu, he made us completely well. Alitufanya wote kuwa alitufanya kuwa wazima kabisa. Let me repeat that. By taking our punishment. Kwa kuchukua adhabu yetu. What did he do? Alifanya nini? He made us slightly well? No. Partially well? Can you describe the wellness? Unaweza eleza huu usawa? Completely well alitufanya sawa kabisa completely well sawa kabisa 
John was saying, Behold the Lamb of God that is trying to take away the sin of the world. And he will make you completely well. How many of you are born again? How many of you are born again? You are completely well. You are completely well. Verse 6. All of us were like sheep. Sisi wote tulikuwa kama kondo. That had wandered off. Waliokuwa wamepotea kule. Yes, we had wandered off. Kwa tumeondoka kwenye nje tumeenda kando. We had each gone our own way. Kila mmoja wetu tulikuwa tumeenda njia yetu bale. But the Lord lakini Bwana gave him the punishment. Alimpa adhabu. We deserved Tuliostahili. What we deserve. Kile tuliostahili was put on Jesus. Iliwekwa juu ya Yesu. The lamb of God. Mwana kondoo wa Mungu. Taking away. Akiondoa. The sin of the world. Dhambi ya ulimwengu. What we deserve. Kile tuliostahili was put on him. Iliwekwa juu yake. What we deserve. Kile tuliostahili was put on him. Iliwekwa juu yake. Jesus was not lost. Yesu hakuwa amepotea. Jesus was lost. Ni sisi tulikuwa tumepotea. The punishment. And that was put on him. Iliwekwa juu yake. Which was meant to be for us. Iliostahili kuwa yetu. The Mstari wa saba he was painfully abused alitusiwa kiuchungu but he did not complain lakini hakunungunika Jesus was painfully abused Yesu alitusiwa kiuchungu but he did not complain lakini hakunungunika how many of you can keep quiet wangapi wenu wanaweza nyamaza ukidungwa dungwa hivi eh that was the nature of Jesus. He was quiet. He did not complain. He was silent like a lamb. Being led to the to, to, to the butcher or the slaughter. Akiongozwa kuelekezwa kwa mchinjaji. Mwana kondoo maana hata akiwa mdogo hivyo. Eh. Anapelekwa kuchinjwa na hanunguniki. Anaona kizu na hanunguniki. Anaona jamaa wako tayari kumchinja lakini hata afanye a Ametulia tu. That was the nature of Jesus Christ. Hiyo ilikuwa ndiyo asili ya Yesu Kristo. As the Lamb of God. Kama mwanakondoo wa Mungu. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. As quiet as a sheep. Mnyamavu kama kondoo. Having its wool cut off. Anapokuwa akikatwa manyoya yake. Unajua wanadamu wanakulanga kondoo akiwa hai? Eh. Hey. Wanamsimamisha. Wanachonga ngozi, wanatoa manyoya. Wewe ndio anauza. Wanamngoja tena akule. <laughs> Zingine zime. Kuje wakati. But kondoo hanunguniki. Wanamfanyia kila kitu. That is our Jesus. Huyo ndiyo Yesu wetu. That is our Jesus. Huyo ndiyo Yesu wetu. When you are worshiping him, you know that is the one you are worshiping. Unapomwabudu jua ndiye unayemwabudu. Hallelujah. Verse 8. Mstari wa 8. He was condemned to death. Alihukumiwa kifo. Without a fair trial. Pasipo kesi iliyo sawa Yesu hata mbele ya Pilato Pilato alisema sijapata makosa lakini watu wakasema hakuna cha hiyo akauza niwapatie nani wakasema tupatie Barabbas huyu akufe Barabbas akuja na Barabbas ni mwizi jambazi muuaji watu wakasema tupee huyo huyu afe Jesus never found a fair trial Yesu hakupitia kesi iliyo sawa. Because he was taking away your sin. Kwa sababu alikuwa anaondoa dhambi zako. He was taking away your sin. Alikuwa anaondoa dhambi yako. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who could have imagined? Nani angewaza? What will happen to him? Kitakachomtukia yeye. Who could have imagined? Nani angefikiri? He was going to die for us. Alikuwa anaenda kufa kwa ajili yetu. His life was taken away. Maisha yake yaliondolewa. Because of the sinful things my people had done that is God saying. Kwa sababu ya vitu vya dhambi ambavyo watu walikuwa wametenda. His life was taken away. Maisha yake yaliondolewa. Because of our sinful things. Kwa sababu ya vitu vyetu vya dhambi that we had done. Tulivyokuwa tumevitenda. Verse nine, please. Mstari wa 9 tafadhali. He wasn't dishonest or violent. Hakukuwa muongo <laughs> ama mwenye kubishana This is Jesus. Huyu ni Yesu. He wasn't his honest. Hakupatikana na uongo. Violent. Ama mwenye ubishi. He was buried in a tomb. Alizikwa kwenye kaburi. Cruel and rich people. La watu wabaya na matajiri. Jesus. Watu wadhalimu. He wasn't cruel. 
Hakukuwa muongo. He was in this honest. Hakukuwa muongo. But when it came to burial. Lakini ilipofika ni kuzikwa. They buried him. Walimzika. In a tomb of cruel and rich people. Na watu wadhalimu na matajiri. Like a man who was cruel. Kama mtu aliyekuwa mdhalimu. Like a man who was dishonest. Kama mtu aliyekuwa muongo. Because he came to take your sin away. Kwa sababu alikuja kuchukuondoa dhambi zako. He came to take your sin away. Alikuja kuondoa dhambi yako. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wapendwa hii mambo ya kusema tu Yesu Yesu na ujui unasema nini tutaacha wacha tutaita Yesu tukielewa hii mambo yote Cause then we are doing it from the bottom of our heart tunaitenda kutoka kwa vilinde vya mioyo yetu understanding na ufahamu what Jesus has done in our lives Kile Yesu ametenda maishani mwetu verse 10 The Lord decided his servant will suffer as a sacrifice to take away the sin and guilt of others. Bwana aliamua mtumishi wake atateseka kama dhabiu ya kuondoa dhambi na uovu wa wengine. The owner of the lamb Mwenye kondo God the Father Mungu Baba decided aliamua that the lamb will suffer Mwana kondo atateseka to take away kuondoa the sin of others dhambi ya wengine we the sons we the sons na mwa, sisi wana that had sin tuliokuwa tumetenda dhambi Jesus came ilimbidi Yesu aje God aje. decided Mungu aliamua God decided Mungu aliamua see that Ona hilo. God decided. Mungu aliamua kwamba Yesu aje to die kukufa for our sins. Kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu. It's a sacrifice. Kama dhabiu. Now the servant will live to see his own descendants. Mtumishi ataishi kuona vizazi vyake. Why? Kwa nini? He did everything the Lord had planned. Alitenda kila kitu Bwana alikuwa amepanga. Our salvation is complete. Wokovu wetu ni kamilifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. He will live to see his descendants. Ataishi kuona vizazi vyake. That is why. Ndio maana. As many as received him. Jinsi wengi alivyompokea. He gave them power. Aliwapa uwezo. To become sons of God. Wakufanyika wana wa Mungu. And if sons. Na kama wana. Then we are heirs. Basi sisi ni waridhi. Yes. Kama waridhi then we are joined as sisi ni waridhi pamoja with him na yeye he has done everything ametenda kila kitu that god planned ambacho mungu alipanga he came according to the scripture alitenda kama maandiko he lived according to the scripture aliishi kulingana na maandiko he died according to the scripture akufa kulingana na maandiko he rose again according to the scripture akufuka kulingana na maandiko he according to the scripture akapa kulingana na maandiko salvation has been effected according to the scripture wokovu umetendeka kulingana na maandiko we have been according to the scripture tumepatanishwa kulingana na maandiko we are the redeemed of god according to the scripture we are the righteous of god according to the scripture kulingana ilikuwa mpango wa Mungu imetendeka it is fulfilled today leo hii we are the redeemed of God sisi ni waliokombolewa wa Mungu sisi ndio matokeo ya mateso ya Yesu verse 11 mstari wa 11 by suffering kwa kuteseka the servant will learn the true meaning of obeying the lord mtumishi atajifunza maana halisi ya kumtii mungu i am bringing this to you ninakuletea hili wewe by the suffering of jesus kwa kuteseka kwa yesu we shall know the true meaning tutajua maana halisi we shall know tutajua the meaning of believing god na kumwamini mungu na kumtii Mungu tunapoelewa kuteseka kwa mwana kondoo mateso ya Yesu tutajua maana kamili ya kumtii Mungu 
Japokuwa hana hatia. He will take the punishment. Atachukua adhabu hiyo hata hivyo. The sins of others. Ya dhambi za wengine. So that many of them will no longer be guilty. Ili kwamba wengi wao wasikuwe na kuhukumika tena. Let me tell you even now. Hata sasa hivi. Even now. Hata sasa hivi. John says he's our advocate. Yohana anasema yeye ndiye advocate even wetu. Even now. Sasa hivi. He is our advocate. Ndiye wakili wetu. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 12. Hallelujah. Mstari wa 12. The Lord will reward him. Bwana atamtuza with honor. Kwa heshima. And the power guvu for sacrificing his life kwa kutoa kama uzima wake kama kafara if the lord can honor him kama bwana anaweza mtuuza yeye how much more us zaidi kiasi gani sisi he has come to redeem aliyokuja kukomboa the lord will honor him bwana atamtuuza with honor kwa heshima with power kwa nguvu for sacrificing his life kwa kutoa uzima wake kama kafara